Hello, one Charmin Scene here. Today I'm showing you my latest script, uh, which is the Cacti Spine Installation Wizard. Um, for those of you who don't know what Cacti Spine is, uh, it is a alternative polar for cacti. Um, and it is used for large installations. And the reason why I wrote this script is that I see in the Cacti forums and the GitHub page and stuff where um, uh, users have sometimes hard time compiling spine um, it is written in c so it needs to be compiled on the local machine which requires uh, a lot of development packages that um, you know if you're missing one the uh, compile phase will not complete so um, i made it pretty simple and so i'll show you how this script works so i just have a brand new Debian install. The only thing I've installed is the git client. So first thing we'll do is clone the git repository. Go over to the cacti spine installation wizard. And there will be a spine dash install dash wizard and so this is, as you guessed, um, meant for uh, Ubuntu systems and uh, Debian as well, of course. Uh, I have one coming up for CentOS, Red Hat, and stuff like that. So Chmod plus X spine install wizard. And now all you do is run the install wizard. And so what this will do is go ahead and download all of the packages that are required. Okay, so once this um, phase is complete, there will be two options. One, where you can download a specific version of Spine. Um, for Like for the example, I put 1.2.3, or we can put the latest version in the Cacti Spine Git repository. So just hit enter there. And what that'll do is automatically download the latest version and compile it for you. Now, once that's complete, all that's left for you to do is go over to user local spine Etsy and spine.com and fill out your database uh, name, user, and password, which is required by spine uh, in order to work. Um, what the script already does for you, if we go into that directory, is uh, assign the proper permissions, which uh, the spine will be owned by root in this case. So it's a very simple script, and um, but it can save you a lot of time. And if you're a beginner, um, uh, get you up and running. If you wanna know the manual steps on how to do it, of course, you can just read the script. So read the script line by line. Essentially, all we're doing is uh, getting the packages required, and the rest is just some shell uh, scripts, you know, to uh, figure out if you want to download the latest or download a release version. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching, guys.